Uh, because I now finished my degree and I'm looking to secure a new role in a different part of Australia, I had to break my lease a few months earlier than expected. I wanted to move in with a couple of friends that mm -hmm. I met um, at the start of the of last semester. I needed to break my lease uh, so that I could return to my family just because it's kind of important to be at home with them at the moment when everything's so uncertain. So I, in, in desperation and a lot of panic, uh, rang up student rooms and basically was like, what do I do? I have no information, I don't know what to do. Because <laughs> um, it's very hard when you're when you're this age, like they don't teach this stuff at school, so you learn it through experience. Um, which is why I was so glad I was with student rooms at the time, because they were so helpful in just giving me basic instructions. They listed my room on a number of property websites and discussed my room with potential replacements here in Australia and those coming from overseas. Even after this day, you know, Justin was very nice and helpful to get someone for my room, uh, which is something which is very an uphill task. I got this phone call from Justin, who sounded absolutely exhausted at like 10 p.m. at night, um, telling me they found some of the rooms. Put um, put the ad for my room up directly and send me the pictures that I could advertise the room as well. You know, they want the best for you for sure. So yeah, they were they were there the whole time. And just advertise it wherever you can. <laughs> the date I wanted to leave, I was able to find a suitable housemate and following her first appointment with Student Room, she was signed up and ready to take over my lease and I was able to move out the next day. I just told everyone, um, whether they know anyone who's looking for a room, it, it might also happen that someone knows someone who knows someone, so just hold out and like, like they're, they're one, they want to help you, like that's what they want to do. Um, so you just got to have faith in them.